we welcome you on our journey of the optic disc pit where we try to find the right fit for the pit. Optic disc pit is a rare congenital disease with an approximate incidence of 1 in 10,000 eyes. It is associated with maculopathy and accumulation of subretinal fluid with approximately 30 years as the mean age of presentation. Optic disc pit associated maculopathy is rare in children and is mostly associated with previous history of trauma. Many theories have been proposed to explain the possible pathogenesis of the optic disc pit such as failure of closure of the embryonic fissure or disturbance in the formation of the primitive papillae. Kun et al. have reported about the possible communication between the vitreous cavity and the cerebral cavity, yet the pathophysiology of the disease is not fully understood, hence many treatment modalities are described, out of which internal limiting membrane peeling with juxtrapapillary laser with SF6 gas tamponade is the most common modality of treatment so far. Other modes of treatment include Retinal fenestration, autologous scleral patch, autologous platelet concentrate, and fibrin glue. We present to you intraoperative OCT assisted human amniotic membrane graft for recurrent optic disc pit associated maculopathy in a pediatric case. The patient presented to us with gradual progressive diminution of vision since two weeks in her left eye. She had no history of ocular trauma. Anterior segment was within normal limits. Fundus examination revealed presence of optic disc pit associated maculopathy. Swift source OCT confirmed the findings of maculopathy and retinoschisis, secondary to optic disc pit. Thereafter, the girl was operated with the most preferred modality of treatment internal limiting membrane peeling and tucking with one flap covering the optic disc pit and the other addressing the maculopathy along with juxtrapapillary laser and SF6 gas tamponade after which she recovered well with resolution of the maculopathy and improvement in her visual acuity to 6 by 18. The patient maintained the same vision at 6 months follow-up and there was no evidence of recurrence or any complications associated. However, nine months later, she visited us with recurrence. On examination, anterior segment was within normal limits and fundus examination revealed the recurrence of maculopathy secondary to optic disc pit. OCT confirmed the findings of maculopathy. We fumbled upon a very innovative technique mentioned by Rizzo et al for the management of optic disc pit associated maculopathy in treatment naive adult patients using 1.5 mm human amniotic membrane graft. We decided to operate the girl using a 3 mm trepfined human amniotic membrane graft due to the larger size of the optic disc pit. After trephination, the graft was stained with brilliant blue and with the help of intravitreal forceps, the graft was directed into the eye and onto the optic disc pit. The visual feedback offered by the intraoperative OCT and the larger size of the graft was helpful in ensuring a snug fit of the patch graft into the optic disc pit. To our surprise, we observed dramatic resolution of the maculopathy and retinoschisis within 48 hours and the best corrected visual acuity improved to 6 by 18. This could be attributed to the already vitrectomized status of the eye along with using a larger graft, which was easy to maneuver into the optic disc pit with the assistance of intraoperative OCD. 
This treatment modality is new and has the potential to become the mainstay of treatment in treatment nail as well as in patients presenting with recurrence.